Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! The hell for Tomahawk Basin! Leadville was on the western rim of the Tomahawk Basin. The main street was lined with cafes, and on Saturday night, all the cowboys from the surrounding country came into town to celebrate. The townspeople were used to fights and gunplay. But on the night the Tomahawk trail crew returned from Clarksville, the violence reached a new high. A burly cowhand called Wolf was the leader of the crew. And when the bartender of the last chance refused him a drink... Oh, I had enough, huh? Why, you mangy sort of coyote. Nobody's going to tell me that and get away with it. Come on, boys. Let's take the place apart. <laughs> In less than ten minutes, the last chance was a wreck. Then Wolf and his men moved on to the next cafe. But the sheriff and a group of hastily appointed deputies met them at the door. Where do you think you're going? We're going inside. You're going to mount your horses and hightail out of town, pronto. Hey, listen to him. Wearing that tin badge makes him think he's tough. <laughs> First one that moves stops left. He wants to play. I mean it. Get out of town or you'll end up dead or in jail. How about it, boys? Get him. What are we waiting for? Slap leather, Sheriff. Get me through here. Hey, it's the boss, hey. Ben Steele. Quiet down, boys. What's going on here, Sheriff? Your men have just wrecked the last chance, Steele. Now they want to start on this place. Is that right, Wolf? Well, we're just having a little fun, boys. This isn't my idea of fun. You're fired, the whole lot of you. What's that? You're fired. You pick up your pen, you walk back to the ranch. Head back for center two where you belong. You can't get rid of us that easy. No. Your foreman promised us we'd be kept on. That's what I intended to do. And I've got my regular crew, and I can get along without you. You aren't the kind of men I would at the tomahawk. I'm uh, warning you, Steele. You better change your mind. Not a chance. So you want us to go back to San Antonio? I don't care where you go, as long as you leave the basin. Sure, we'll leave the basin. No, 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 shut up! First, we go to the ranch and get our money. After that, you follow me. Nobody ever got away with double cross and wolf garnet, and steel won't be the first. Remember that. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were camped in the wooded hills to the west of Leadville. Toward morning, the masked man stirred in his sleep. And then when Silver whinnied, he sat bolt upright. What is it, boy? 
you awake, Tonto? Ah. Uh, Do you hear anything? You put ear to ground. Hoofbeats. Not right. Many men riding hills. I wonder if it could be a posse. Uh, Tonto not know. There haven't been any rustlers or Indians around the basin. You better follow them and find out. That's a good idea. Here, Silver. Here, Scout. <laughs> The great white stallion and the paint trotted to their masters. Quickly, the Lone Ranger and Tonto saddled them. Before they were mounted, the thunder of hoofs had died away in the distance. It was a dark night, and the faithful Indian had some trouble in picking up the trail. Once found, it was hard to lose, though, and they followed into the hills. At last, the Lone Ranger raised his arm in a signal to rein up. The sound of many voices reached their ears. Dismounting, they led their horses through the trees to the top of a rise. Below them, they could see nearly a hundred men. Some of them were gathering firewood. Others were setting up a rope corral for their horses. At last, a campfire flamed up through the night. And as the Lone Ranger and Tonto watched... The fire is getting brighter. I can see their faces now. That wolf. Yes, and all the other men from the Tomahawk, Breed Hired and San Antonio. Ah. I wonder why they're camped out here. Them gunmen and them plenty bad. We'll ride to the carry ranch, Kimosabe. Jim may be able to help us out. Ah. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. <laughs> Ranger and Tonto held their great horses in check until they had put a safe distance between themselves and the camp. Then Silver and Scout were given free rein, down from the hills, over the rim of the basin, across the level rangeland. As they thundered to a stop in front of the Carey Ranch, Jim Carey himself opened the door and walked down the steps to meet them. They told their story of the men in the hills, and Jim told them of the fight between Steele and his men in town. The wolf threatened to get even, Jim? That's the way I heard it. <laughs> Serves to you right for hiring a flock of gunmen. They turned to rustling or attacked the Tomahawk Ranch. You and all the other small ranches will have to help round them up. Help Ben Steele? Yes, you've got to. When he's trying to drive us out of the basin? It's for your own protection, Jim. Wolf and his gang may start with the Tomahawk, but they won't stop there. Your ranch is closer to the hills. So is the Bar M and the Circle Dot. Well, I can't persuade Aldrich and Jenks and the others to help Steele. You know what he's done. He stayed inside the law, but he's just as much a crook as Wolf. That dog eat dog, I say. It won't stop there. Masked man, this is one time I can't string along with you. You'll regret it. That can't be helped. I was hoping that you'd at least go to Steele and tell him where Wolf is. Warn him that he's in danger. I won't set foot on his land. Yeah, it's up to Tonto and me. Said if it was anybody else, it'd be different. We'll see you later. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Silver, steady oh, boy. Oh, scout, oh, fella. Uh, it get light now. Yes. There's no one up yet, though. Still not like you, Kimasabi. Better have gun ready. He won't try anything when his men aren't around. Who is it? Open up. You. What do you want? This is a friendly call, Steele. Friendly? <laughs> You'd like nothing better to see me in jail. That's true. Hey, what do you mean? I don't like the way you've been fighting the small ranchers. There's something in your past you'll never be able to live down. Uh, you were one of the leaders of the Black Arrow. That isn't so. It can't be proved, and for that reason, I'd never make the accusation except to you. But in spite of all that, I'm willing to call a truce. Is it so? Right now, you're staying within the law. But there are men around here who won't. Who? Wolf and the others you fired last night. They've cleared out. They didn't go back to San Antonio. We can show you where they're camped in the hills. That's your own business, mass man. What's that? I can take care of my cattle and my rage. And I don't need any help from you. Well, that's the way you feel about it. That's the way I feel. You and me are enemies, see? You'll never get anything on me. But if you keep on trying, you won't live long. We understand each other, Steele. Adios. And keep away from my ranch. The next time you set foot on it, you'll be shot as a trespasser. Steady, big boy. Yep. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Ah. What's the matter, Kimosabe? Him may count a plenty man. We found out something easy, boy. Easy. Uh, him crook. More than that. It wasn't any surprise to him that Wolf and his gang were camped in the hills. That's right. Steele may have arranged everything. The fight in town and firing the men. All of it. Why him do that? We'll have to wait and see, Tonto. Come on, boy. Get him up, Scout. Men right 
this way. Yes, Tonto, but it's dark. They can't be seen back there in the trees. They're cattle, too. Driving about 20 head in front of them. Uh, hit Wolf. I recognize his horse right away. Those are tomahawk cows. Ah. Well, that's the beginning. Well, we follow him? No. Steele doesn't want our help. But he's sure to want the sheriff's. You'll have to be in Leadville tomorrow morning, Tonto. Things are going to happen. As Benjamin Steele reined up in front of the sheriff's office the following morning, he dragged a hide from his saddlebag and carried it into the office with him. Morning, Sheriff. Howdy, Steele. What's that you got? I'll throw it on the floor, Jay, to get a good look. Oh, a hide. One of my cars. Yeah, I can see the brand. There's more to see. Scratch the message in the hide with a knife. Look close. What's this? I'll read it for you. It says 300 tonight. Back tomorrow for a thousand. What's it mean? Rustlers. They killed one cow, skinned it, then drove off 300 more. They'll be back tonight for a thousand. Wolf. Wolf and all the rest of those guns shooting hombres are fired. They're out to get even. The nerve of them. Saying they'll be back again tonight. I'll round up a posse and go after them right away. Old work, Sheriff. There's no telling where they're camped at. We can't let them get away with this. You save your posse for tonight. I got a lot of men working for me. But I got a lot of land. I can use every man you can find. Yeah, that's the idea. We'll lay low and wait for him. Get out to the ranch as soon as it's dark. Kino Steel, you can expect us. Just as Jim Carey rose from his desk that night and started for bed, he noticed his daughter Abby looking out the window. What are you looking for, Abby? Nothing. <laughs> that must be his middle name. I don't care. I'm worried. I don't like Ted riding the range at night when there's rustlers on the loose. Well, maybe he's got back from the bar M already. That's impossible. Well, he could have gone straight to the bunkhouse. Without saying goodnight to me? <laughs> I'm not saying he's likely, but he could have. Oh, I almost wish he had. Be home safe anyway. Well, the boy had a lot to talk over with Aldrich. He might even stay the night. Then he should have told me before he... What's the matter? Sky over to the west. It's a funny light. Moon couldn't be rising so late, could it? It's already set. The bar M's over there. The hills are beyond. Well, don't let your imagination get the better of you. Pa, here's Ted riding up now. Yeah. He looks to be in an awful hurry. If we didn't know those rustlers were going out to steal cattle tonight, I think that... Jim. It is them. You can see it in his face. Wolf and his gang? Yeah. Where are they? The bar M. I'm going back there. You've got to get the sheriff as fast as you can. It's the Lone Ranger yard again. Oh, he's already there. He and Tono got their little head of the gang and they helped us fight him off. Now he's helping on. Rudge, fight the fire. That's what we saw, Pa. Fire. Hurry up, Tim. Right. Keep back from that wall, Ted. He'll be coming down in a minute. Yeah, you saved the house anyway. Yes, man. Here comes Jim with the sheriff and his posse. Nothing more to do here. We can start after Wolf. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Which way did they go? Hello, follow the trail. He'll be back here any minute to lead us. Kerry said you knew where the camp was. They may have changed it. Here comes the engine now. Hold, Scott. Hold, Hold. Which Hold. way, Kimosabe? Straight into the hills? No. Them start that way and make big circle to south. Them right for Kerry Ranch. My place? Hunter not know. He not follow him all the way. But him think so. Kerry, what about your daughter? She's there all alone. Come on, we've got to get after that. Look out. Look out for that wallow. Let's go, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Get him up. Silver. Hold. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. As the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and the Sheriff's men raced across the plain, their first sight of the Cary Ranch came from a pinpoint of light. Cary identified it as a lamp set in the living room window, and hope sprang up that the outlaws had left the ranch house alone. But when they reined up in front of the door... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I hope there's so many horse around here. Yes, Tonto. Happy, are you all right? Happy? Why don't she answer? 
There's your answer. It looks like a cyclone's hit the place. Abby, where are you? Look, here's a note on the desk. Oh, so want to read Kyle. What have you got there, Master? Well, let him read it. We've taken your daughter a prisoner. No. Don't try to follow us or she'll die. We want $10,000. Get it together pronto. We'll send you word in a few days where to take it. Let me see that. A ransom note. Steel's behind this. What makes you say that? He wants this ranch. How can Kerry raise $10,000 without selling it? I can't. But Steele and Wolf Garrett, you're making them out to be partners, and that just don't make sense. Yes, it does. He had me get a posse together to catch Wolf. He made sure that nearly all the men in the district were riding his range tonight. The outlaws attacked the Bar M. That drew Kerry and his men away from here, and Wolf circled back to take the girl a prisoner. That's just the way it worked. But you can't prove any of that. Not unless we catch Wolf. I won't let you try to. You're afraid for your daughter? Sure I am. You can't blame me. I'm going to follow the instructions in this note to the letter. I'll raise the 10000 even if I have to sell out to steal. And when I get word from Wolf, I'm going to pay off just like he says. Now listen, none of you are going to interfere with that. You can't go after Wolf until I get Abby back. Do you understand? Jim. We won't do any good to argue. I'm not arguing. I understand how you feel, but where's Ted? Ted? Well, he's gone. He must be outside. I wonder about that. Hello? Uh-huh. Did Ted come out here? Yeah, That's right. Where did he go, Kimasabi? Him get on horse right off that way. For the hills. The young fool. He heard what the note said. What right is he got? Don't blame him too much. You can't expect him to think twice at a time like this. But the note said I that... know it did. He thought if only one man went after them, they'd never find out. And there might be a chance of rescuing Abby. The same thought came to me. He's no match for those crooks. You're right. But Tano and I know where their camp is. We've got to let us go and get him and bring him back. Well, they take him a prisoner, too. Go to it. Get him quick so he can't mess things up. Come on, Toto. Ah. The Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the trail left by the outlaws and Ted until they reached the rocky ground at the beginning of the foothills. Steady, boys. Oh, steady. And the trail's gone. Uh, it's plenty dark and plenty hard to follow. I know you could do it if you had more time, but... Uh, Kimasabi, how Ted follow trail? That's true. He couldn't have... When it came to the end here, he must have ridden on, desperate, hoping to find them someplace. Ah, oh, it's plenty dangerous. There's only one thing for us to do, head straight for their camp. That's right. Come on, sir. Get him up, scout. When the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the spot where they had seen the outlaws before... Easy, boy. Oh, easy. Got home, Tonto. Home. Go on, Tonto. Uh. Another proof that Steel and Wolf are working together. He warned him we knew where the camp was. Round, plenty soft round here. There are plenty men. It's easy to follow where them go. Even at night? Uh. It's up to you then, Kimosabe. That's our only hope. The trail led farther and farther into the tangled hills. At last, just as dawn was breaking, they came to the opening of a canyon nearly half a mile wide. Here, Tonto dismounted. Um, new trail. It come from east. Was it maybe the outlaws last night? Uh, that right. Them turn here and go into canyon. It narrows down as it goes on. Tonto know this place. Walls of canyon come close together. Only room for one man to ride through. Then canyon open into valley. The high wall all round. Only room for one man at a time to enter the place. Ah, uh, plenty good hideout. I want a closer look at it, Kimosabe. Come here, we'll go... boy. Come here. That sounded like Ted's voice. Ah. Blackie. In that clump of trees over there. Come on, son. Get him up, Scout. I'm staying steady. Well, if I can only grab hold of the stirrup, maybe I can... Ted. The masked man, Tonto. Easy, boy. <coughs> You've been wounded. Yeah. I guess I must have fainted. Ah, uh, Tonto fixed it. Well, I'm all right now. Couldn't have been much. Uh, it left shoulder. He bandaged it up. Yeah. What happened, Ted? I don't know. Just riding along here, and something hit me. I heard the shot. Blackie bolted into the tree. That's all I remember. Must have been one of the gang they left behind to guard the trail. I didn't see anybody. They came this way. Are you are you strong enough to ride? Sure thing. Once I get in the saddle. And there. That do for now. Yeah, we're going on. I want to look at this canyon. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be coming back here soon. Isn't there any chance of getting Abby away from them? We can't let ourselves be seen. You know what they threatened? They wouldn't dare. I'm afraid you're wrong. Human life means nothing to them. Then maybe we better ride straight back to the basin. We'll be careful. But when the ransom is paid, there'll be a showdown. It'll help you into your saddle. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the outlaw's camp, Wolf was cutting the ropes that bound Abby hand and foot. About time you took these things off me. That's right. It's morning. Time for you to cook us some grub. What? You, you're the cook. I am not. I wouldn't fix any grub for you crooks to save my life. You mean that? You can't scare me. All right, you don't eat yourself. We tie you up again. Think about it, Sam. Aren't you hungry? I... 
all right. That's better. Fire's already going. Hop to it. Have one of your men bring me some water. The spring ain't far. You get it. Oh, the lazy no come pull. Never mind the talk. Move. started toward the spring where Wolf's horse was drinking, and as she walked, a plan developed in her mind. She looked toward the opening of the valley. The guard was dozing, and as she neared the spring... They're all half asleep, even Wolf. It's worth a try anyway. No, boy, don't go away. Steady. I have to stand up on this rock. Steady, boy. Get up there. Keep us up uh, They're opening up ahead. Gosh, but it's narrow. Quick, there's someone coming. Behind the trees. Oh, no, wait, masked man. It's Abby. Ted, right on with her. Back to the base and get the sheriff. Oh, those outlaws will be coming after. They can only come through the opening one at a time. Tom and I can hold them inside the valley. Uh, they're covered from rock. Ted, I can't stop it. Don't try. Keep riding. Get up there, Blackie. Get up. Get up. Get up. ammunition, Kimo Sabe. Uh, here we go, then. That valley's a fine hideout, but it's a fine trap, too. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Lone Ranger and Tonto urged their mounts toward the narrow opening of the valley. There they dismounted. Silver and Skulls were ordered back out of danger, and the masked man and the Indian took cover behind the rocks. Just in time. Wolf had ordered half a dozen of his men into the saddle, and now he rode in front of them toward the opening. The morning sun flashed in the six-shooter in his hand. The Lone Ranger took careful aim. The Lone Ranger's bullet found its mark, and the six-shooter dropped from Wolf's hand. The outlaws reined up. They were unable to see who was holding the pass against them. But Wolf was determined to win his way through. He ordered the others to open fire. The bullets whined past the masked man and the Indian, but they stood their ground. Only when the outlaw started forward more, once more to the open fire. Another gun dropped from a nerveless hand. Once more, Wolf and his men were forced to rein up. Again they charged. Again they were turned back. Again and again. All through the morning, the Lone Ranger and Tonto held the pass. Later that day, Jim Carey swallowed his pride and rode to the Tomahawk Ranch. Benjamin Steele was waiting for him. Sit right down here and state your business, Carey. You know what my business is. It's a sad thing about you, Dottie. If you thought so, you wouldn't be smiling. <laughs> I always believe in looking at the cheerful side of things. You'll get it back, of course. I hope so. Of course you will. Didn't I hear it? The Lone Ranger and Tonto went after him? They went after Ted. But none of them have come back. Oh, it is too bad. Do you suppose Wolf and his men have killed them? I don't know. One thing's sure. Nobody else is going into those hills. I'm going to follow the instructions in that note to the letter. You mean pay ransom? Yes. That isn't wise. Honest men shouldn't give in to outlaws. You do the same thing in my place. Only you wouldn't have to sell your ranch to raise the money. Are you going to have to do that? I won't bother to answer that. My land and buildings are worth five thousand dollars. My cattle's worth another fifteen. You offered me two thousand for everything once. There's no sense in doing that again because there's no sense in my selling unless I get ten. I understand. Well, and I'm prepared to be generous. You'll? I'll give you 10000 huh. You can afford it. You'll probably get a split from the crooks. Are you suggesting that Wolf and I are partners? You can take it or leave it. <laughs> I'd order you out of my house. But I still sympathize, so I'll ignore your remarks. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have a bill of sale already made. Yeah. I just sign here, Carrie, and I'll give you the money. I'll hand it over. We'll get this over quick. Here's the pen. Oh, don't. Abby! Don't sign that paper. They told me what you were up to. How did you get away? I watched from my chance and took it. The Lone Ranger stopped them from coming after What's me. What's that? He and Tonner are holding back the whole gang. But the sheriff and his men are on the way to help. Let's go after them. I've got something to attend to first. Here, Steele. Here's what I think of your bill of sale. <laughs> An hour later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were relieved by the sheriff's men. And the masked man and the sheriff discussed ways and means of capturing the outlaws. They don't realize you're here yet, Sheriff. When they do, they won't try to get out. It's going to be a siege. We're ready for it. 
Can't have much food in there. Are you sure there isn't some other way out? Hanno says no. They'd have found it long before this, if there were. Well, I hope that Wolf will tell us the truth about Steele when we finally get him in jail. Him or one of the others? Wolf's the leader, and Steele wouldn't trust more than one man. T- what? What's up? Here comes Ted. What is it, Ted? They want to surrender. Are you sure? Yeah. We yelled to him there were more than a hundred men out here, and we could hear them arguing about it. Doesn't sound like Wolf to give up. I think he's dead. What's that? Well, there was a shot, and after that, we didn't hear his voice. Killed by his own men. They won't admit it, though. They'll say one of our shots got him. I didn't say you could prove it. Well, we'll send the whole bunch of them to jail for 20 years anyway. Tell them to come out one by one and reach for the sky while they're doing it. Kino! I'll go over there with you. Mm, Kimo Savi. There's Steele. Him rides this way. Yes, I see him. Uh, it's plenty bad. Wolf gets shot. There might be others who can tie this plot up to Steele. Him will smile. Oh, oh there. Oh, oh there. <laughs> Howdy, my friend. You did a wonderful job holding those crooks away, you did. <laughs> and did you hear the news about Wolf? Yes. He was the only one who knew about you. Is that it? <laughs> Yes, he was the only one. You can't beat my luck. Luck has been known to change. You is better than that. Just be careful, Steele. Your first mistake may be your last. Steady, big fella. Yep. Boom, Silver. Hit him up, scout. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 